We all love to play in the rain, at least when we were kids. Rain is essential to life. Water evaporated from the ocean and the earth's surface and go up to the sky. Then evaporated water condenses in the cold air, forming rain clouds. Air currents carries the clouds miles away into the land, and falls as the rain drops to the earth's surface. Rain make life possible, but it also can take life too. Rain has a darker side. You hear about flood and landslide causes damage to life and property all the time. But today we are going to talk about acid rain. Rain water is naturally acidic, but acid rain is simply rain made more acidic than normal by atmospheric pollution, and this can harm the environment. The main cause of this is industrial burning of coal and other fossil fuels, the waste gases from which contain sulfur dioxide, which combine with atmospheric water and oxygen to form sulfuric acid, and nitrogen dioxide, which combine with atmospheric water to form nitric acid. This gives rain water a pH value of 4. Normal rain water has a pH value of 5.5. To compare, pH value range from 0 to 14, 0 been most acidic and 14 been most alkaline. pH value of hydrochloric acid use for battery is 0.8, vinegar is 2.4, beer is around 4, 7 is neutral and bleach is around 12.6. So acid rain has a pH level closer to beer. Beer! This is beer! Beer is falling from the sky! Scientists believe that acidic water dissolves the nutrients and helpful minerals in the soil, and then washes them away before the trees and other plants can use them to grow. At the same time, the acid rain causes the release of toxic substances such as aluminum into the soil, resulting in dead plant life. Not only that, acids have a corrosive effect on limestone, marble buildings, and sculptures. It is well established that either wet or dry deposition of sulfur dioxide significantly increases the rate of corrosion on limestone, sandstone, and marble. Let's take a closer look at sulfur dioxide turning into sulfuric acid. When sulfur dioxide come to contact with water vapor and oxygen gas, chemical reaction happens, result in sulfuric acid. Here is a much closer look. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, combined with water, H2O, and oxygen gas, O2, resulting sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and extra oxygen atom. To minimize these effect, we need to produce energy without using fossil fuels. We can use renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power. So what is your thoughts about acid rain? What can we do about it? Let's us know in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe.